and there goes his landing gear. Aviation metalsmiths are on hand aboard the carrier to make emergency plane repairs on landing gears, fuselage, wings, and other metal parts. They operate power saws that can cut tempered steel as if it were wood. This expert welder makes the damaged part of a landing gear brace as good as new. He has to know the characteristics of all types of airplane metals. The aviation metalsmiths must be able to mold and cast metal parts. A speed ring on a Catalina patrol bomber requires replacement. First, a cast is made in plaster of Paris to serve as the mold for the die that is to stamp out the speed ring. Special sand is placed around the plaster of Paris form to ensure a smooth surface for the lower die of Kirksite. When the metal has been poured and has hardened, the die is lifted out. It is now the lower die for a drop hammer. In order to make the upper half of the die, molten antimony lead is poured over the completed lower half, which acts as a matrix. The two are separated when they have cooled and each is fitted into its place in the drop hammer. This thin metal, now being cut to pattern, will be placed between the two dies or jaws of the drop hammer and stamped into shape as part of a speed ring. Tremendous power and weight, the drop hammer stamps this tough sheet metal into proper shape. The newly stamped part is placed with the rest of the speed ring. From here it goes to the patrol bomber where it is fitted into place and this cat is ready to go prowling. This ring upon which a gun turret will be secured has been formed from tempered aluminum alloy. Riveted to another track, it will next be mounted on a framework strong enough to carry the gun turret and its load. Right on the nose, that's where this supporting base carrying the ring track for the deadly turret is riveted onto the Navy bomber. From this oven comes a sheet of heated plexiglass, which will be molded to fit a turret frame. Aviation metalsmiths are trained in the use of these plastics 
forming them for many purposes on planes. Completing this turret, the plexiglass top will protect the gunner within from sunburn, frostbite, and light flak. Aviation metalsmiths are continually installing new types of equipment. In combat, this nose turret, sweeping the skies in many directions, will provide additional protection against enemy planes. When the Navy takes to the air, the aviation metalsmith is one man who helps to keep them flying. 